Neil here. This is an X-Drive 3D printer that is in development. It has evolved a bit. I'm just starting a new part. This printer uses an X design, two cross beams, each beam driven by its independent stepper motor. And as you see, the belts wrap around in a U shape so that each of the beams is driven on both ends. The Z axis is lifted by, and actually dropped by, three lead screws. They're 3 8 inch 4 start. And they have a linear bearing riding on the slide in front and another one in back to provide stability. This printer has been evolving for about four or five months now. Uh, it is completely homemade in a sense, but a lot of the parts obviously came off of eBay or other providers. The electronics are a Rambo board inside of the custom enclosure connected to a small LCD screen although most of the printing that I do, all of the printing that I do, is via Direct Connect USB over to a PC. You can see it's just starting the initial run. It's creating the base layer. This ordinarily runs a little slower. Once it gets to the second layer, things begin to speed up a little bit. As I understand it, the first layer is a little slower to improve the adhesion to the bed. Just following around, let's go from one of the motors, like the X, this would be this, the Y axis motor. The belt travels directly to one end, you can see it's attached, around the back corner and across, and then it comes forward. Over here, one leg passes through the mount, goes to a bearing, an idler wheel and is attached on the other face. So this provides full control of each of the beams, making sure that they remain perpendicular to each other and reducing any ringing or other flexure of the, uh, the motion. Uh, it's actually a fairly stiff design, uh, only as flexible as the uh, linear stretch of the belt, and it's a standard 2GT or GT2 belt, uh, 6 millimeter wide. The bed itself is heated. Let's see if I can get a lower view. You can see the orange heater underneath the bed. You can also see the lead screw, the near lead screw. There are three leveling points. They are attached to the underframe. And so I have two on this side, and if I come around, you can see the third leveling screw over here. That three-point support makes it quite easy to level the bed manually. I have not implemented any kind of auto leveling. By the way, this piece that I just took off was a swipe that occurs at the beginning of each run to clean the head and make sure that there's no remnant material that can spoil the, uh, the gull. Now it's starting to do the second layer, I believe. You can see it's starting to develop the shape of the part. This happens to be one of the double-ended ratchets that uh, I'm told was developed for NASA. I'm not too clear on that. Anyway, you can see the glass bed. This particular machine has an envelope of approximately 12-inch cube. 12 by 12 by 12. In actual fact, it's really 300 millimeters cubed, which is what many of the parts uh, I was able to find were dimensioned at, like the glass bed. That hasn't been a hindrance. It's very close to 12 inches. So there you have it. This is the X-Drive uh, 3D printer. Right now it's really just for my own use. I may decide at some point in the future to do something with it, but that isn't really on the books. Uh, for me, it's a learning tool, and at some point I will use it as a teaching tool in my activities over at the university. 
So I hope you enjoy it. I look forward to any comments or questions you may have. All of these parts, all of the white and the red parts, were made on a, another 3D printer that I hear, have here at the Residence. And uh, they're all in PLA. I'm finding the stability quite good. So uh, again, if you have comments or questions, feel free to post them to me. I'll get back to you when I can. Just for your information on the carriage itself, I think they call it a E6, EV6 or something like that, a V6 uh, extruder. You can see the, uh, the block down below with the heater. It's a fully 24 volt system, a Bowden drive, which means the actual filament drive is over here on the side, not far from the spool of material. And of course, I designed it to handle pretty much any manufacturer's uh, material. This is set up for 1.75 millimeter diameter filament. Uh, I will eventually try ABS. Right now I'm doing strictly PLA. Have a good day and thanks for viewing.